She was so nasty and so rude I that was I don't so even, nasty don't ever bring so anybody rude. around me like that. So nasty and, and that's what happened. so rude. <laughs> so nasty and so rude. Because it's iconic. And I love to do iconic shit. He gave me the I feel like all the Black Friday sales this year were really shameful, but Madewell was 50% off, so I did get a few things. So I want to give you guys a little haul because I'm so obsessed. The first thing I got is actually the sweater that I'm wearing right now, and it's so cozy. I have a texture thing with clothing. It can't be itchy at all, and the sweater's not. It's actually also surprisingly cool. Like, it's not a super-duper overwhelmingly hot sweater, which I like because living in California, like it doesn't get that cold, but also it's warm enough to wear if I put a jacket over it when I go home to New Hampshire, like it'll keep me really warm. And the color is so fun. It's like not a color you'd normally see in the winter time. And I like the pop of color. Next thing are these shoes because I don't really have any winter heels besides boots. So I got these little pointy toed, is this considered a kitten heel sling back? Am I using the right terms? But I just think these heels are really cute to dress up an outfit, even with jeans. Because all my heels are like open-toed, unless they're boots. So I felt like this was a good thing to add for the holidays. The next two things are the same thing, just different color. And I recently did a closet clean out. And the main thing I was getting rid of was like basics that were just too small. And I'm going to do like a big Depop sale. But I wanted to restock on just some basic t-shirts. So I got a plain white tee. It's tight. It's also a really good length. It kind of like sits at my hips. So it's not cropped because sometimes I'm like, how old? Like when do you stop wearing crop tops? Because sometimes I'm like, I kind of look 15 and I'm almost 10 years older than that. So I just feel like I wanted a more like mature basic tee. And then I also got it in black. It's also not tight on the sleeves, which I feel like my shoulders, like t-shirts are always really tight on my shoulders, but these ones aren't, and they're super duper comfy. Also, the white is not very see-through, which I appreciate. Obsessed with this next one. I think this was the first thing I saw on the website that I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna place this order. It's this like, not mock neck, not turtleneck. What's it called? Like, cowl neck? What's it called? I actually have no idea, but it's kind of like a mock neck, but it's more loose, kind of falls like looser. Really, really cute and flattering. And the material is like ribbed, striped. I just think it's the most perfect elevated basic and you could dress it up, dress it down. I just think it's really sweet. It's also nice and warm and I just feel like it was a good closet staple. I've seen sweaters exactly like this so many places and I knew I wanted to get one. So when this one was on sale, I was like, okay, I'm just going to bite the bullet and get it. But I got this green, just basic cardigan, but I'm envisioning it with like a white t-shirt. Maybe the one I got underneath, just like cozy, casual mom vibes and this one's really cute it's like not too oversized but also a little bit bigger because i like it to be like a slouchy look super soft this one's like one percent itchy but not itchy enough to wear i'm not gonna wear it and i'm very picky with my textures so love this it's a super cute fit lastly the star of the show is this little faux something or other vest i don't remember what it was called but it's this like almost like sherpa material i just think this is so adorable i even think i could layer it on top of that cow, what's it called cowl neck that white long sleeve i got i feel like that could even look cute underneath this but it's not super heavy it's pretty lightweight so i think it's perfect for living in california with a long sleeve underneath jeans this maybe even my mm -hmm. new heels like out to dinner or something i think this would be super cute i'm obsessed with this and also the buttons are just so precious that's my little haul also not sponsored at all i just really liked everything that i got and i'm excited about it so i wanted to share it but i will have everything that can be linked because i think a couple things are sold out in my ltk <laughs> you're right it's not my fault it's your fault my malibu barbie doll that i got for christmas this year she comes with a hairbrush a pocketbook and two different dresses <laughs> Actually, can I have five more of these little blonde bitches? And get this, his suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it, Nicole's fault. I'm Nicole, by the way. Hi, what the fuck did I do to him? Everything I ate at dinner time fun.
my private dancer. You can call her phone, but she ain't gon' answer. You can call her phone and I probably answer, nigga. Hey guys. Hi guys. We're getting ready for our second annual Christmas party. Hosted by me in someone else's house. Yes, because it was at her house yet, but she decided to move across the country from all of her best friends. Yeah. We support. <coughs> um, but I think like 20, 25 people are coming. Like 50 and we're really getting it. <laughs> we have a private chef coming, and I'm not sure exactly what they're making. Mm, crab cakes. I know that we have strippers coming too. I just forget what time. And then we're taking the private jet to Miami. From Dim. <laughs> the, the trend is I'm supposed to lie until you call me out and you just jumped on the train with me. <laughs> Hi guys, hope you have the best day. Am I dreaming or is that you, Aaron? Yeah, it's me, don't cream your face. <laughs>